Hello everyone. Welcome to the Sage for CPQ Hours channel program. Today we are going to discuss about Composite API. How we can utilize this Composite API for Salesforce to Salesforce integration. So what is the benefit of using this uh, Composite API? If you see, I can send us multiple requests using a Composite API. And if you see this particular JSON format, Within that composite API, I have been sending a data of account and contact together actually. So within one request call out, I can send a multiple request uh, as a post. I can use a post and patch both together. So in this particular demo that I have created for you, where I have been indicating two different Salesforce org, and I have been passing account and contact data together from one org to another Salesforce org. For this, what you have to do, you'll have to create one connected app in your uh, <clears throat> target org. With help of this connected app, you you need to grab your uh, you need to grab a consumer key and secret key. Once you have received your consumer key and secret key, then you have to start indicating this data from the day one org actually so i have one day one org another one is the day two org actually so these two are currently i have so let me give you the quick demo then i will walk through you the code uh, script that i have written for you so i'm just going to open my sales cloud app in my day one org and i do have a day two org actually so let me open a sales app here in my Count. All right. Let me go to the count. I'm going to the count here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new account called uh, Chat GPT Inc. I'm putting some information for these account called my industries, revenues, or these are called some custom pick list that I have created. And then hit save button. Once I have created my chat GPT account, I need to just create a contact underneath. So let's suppose my chat junior. And then I would like to have my mobile number. I would like to have my email ID. So This is my chat GPT email ID. I just forgot to mention one external ID here or number of, sorry, employee, uh, this account number. So let's suppose I'm putting this account number called chat GPT 101, let's see. So what I did so far, I have just created this chat GPT as a customer account and underneath I have created this a contact record called chat GPT with this particular email ID. So now I how I have been pushing this data to our uh, this uh, uh, the another target or so what I will do <clears throat> I will mark this uh, contact as a primary contact. So I have created one trigger. What it does it will read this primary contact as a checkbox called true. Once this checkbox is true, then I have been sending and calling this uh, composite API and passing the data to the Salesforce target org. So what I have done, I have just saved this record. Let me navigate back to this. So here you see my chat GPT Inc. as an account got created with the detail that I have mapped so far. I have mapped this uh, account number and this external ID and this these pick list values that I have mapped, including if I go to my contact record, I can see the chat junior 
which was created in my source org that is now also created in my target org also so <clears throat> let me go through this code structure here so if you visit to my amulhead.blogspot.com you will see this salesforce to salesforce integrations using composite api to know more about composite api you can just go and check this composite api request and response body how it will work so you can have a, like a more quick detail on the developer.salesforce.com community forum so what i did uh, if you see the, i have created one trigger on my source org where i have been checking this primary contact is true, true or false if it is true i am calling this particular api within this api i am using this username password consumer key and consumer secret rather than hard coding these information what you can do you can use start using this name credentials this is a very uh, fantastic way to use your credential data uh, while calling these api actually so to more to know more about name credential you can go and take a look on developersalesforce.com for the name credential help so this is the one of the best practices that you have to follow while doing an integrations piece rather than doing a hard code uh, consumer key or secret key or username and password um, if you go down if you let me show you the how our structure will look like here i have been creating this data request in a patch mode so patch is basically a absurd command that i have been performing where i have been mapping these credit status contacted systems for account record as well as for a contact i have been create updating this first name last name email phone number okay so this way i am pushing this data from my um source or to destination or so i have already given you demo to know more about our uh, code structure you can follow this one to know more about uh, composite api you can follow this uh, composite api community uh, developer community to know more about name credential you can follow this developer community for name credentials thank you so much thanks for joining uh, cpq our channel forum and uh, if you would like to know more about cpq hours you can go to this particular website called cpqhours.com and uh, i have my own youtube channel also this is called youtube.com and this is what i have called my cpq hours i have posted all my recent videos on this particular website you can go and just follow subscribe for stay tuned and stay updated thank you so much